हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द प्रैक्टिकल सीरीज ऑफ फार्माकोलॉजी सो द नेक्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट विच वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर इज द स्टडी ऑफ एंजियोलाइटिक एक्टिविटी ऑफ द ड्रग्स यूजिंग माइस ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ओवर हियर द एंटी एंजाइटी प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ डायजेपा okay so the aim of the experiment is to study the anxiolytic or anti anxiety effect of diazepam in mice by using elevated plus maze apparatus so that's the apparatus which we are going to use to test the anti anxiety activity so the requirements of this experiment are as follows the animal which is used is the mice weighing in between 20 to 25 grams so rats also can be used for this particular experiment so accordingly the dimensions are different okay based on which animal you are using okay then the solutions which are required is the diazepam in the dose of 2 mg per kg injected intraperitoneally so for this you need to prepare a stock solution containing 0.2 mg of diazepam per ml and inject 1 ml of this solution per 100 g body weight of the mouse then the equipments which are required is the plus maze the elevated plus maze in which the two arms so it is in the plus shape okay out of which the two arms are open okay they do not have any uh, wall as such with the dimension of 16 by 5 cm so each arm is 16 cm in length and 5 cm in width and two of the opposite uh, arms are enclosed that is they have a wall okay so here again the dimensions are the uh, length is 16 cm the width is 5 cm and the wall of the elevated arms the wall is of 12 cm height okay stop watch now coming to the principle of the experiment this particular apparatus that is the elevated plus maze it is quite simple apparatus which can be used to study the anxiety response of a particular animal and to test the anti anxiety property of several uh, drugs that's because when you expose a particular animal to a novel maze or novel uh, a novel environment okay so it will you know induce the approach avoidance conflict that is its preference towards a specific type of arm which is stronger in the open arm as compared to the enclosed arm that is they will prefer to remain in the enclosed arm okay so when they come into the uh, open space they will become anxious okay so they tend to spend more time in the enclosed arm to uh, you know make themselves comfortable rather than going into the open space they will preferably remain in the enclosed arm okay now when an animal normally when an animal uh, enters into an open arm they freeze they you know they don't make any movement they become immobile or they may defecate or they may show fear like movement so they are afraid to be in the open arm okay this is also supported with the studies which have shown that the plasma cortisol levels are increased when they move to the open arm they become more anxious so they preferably want to stay in the enclosed arm okay they they are afraid of being in the open arm which which does not have any walls aside okay now coming to the advantages of this test procedure so the main advantages of this particular procedure is that it is simple fast and less time consuming okay so you can finish the uh, test very quickly okay it takes very less time for to uh, come to an conclusion okay then no prior training or noxious stimuli such as sound or light are required in this particular test also the third advantage is that it is predictable and reliable procedure for studying the anxiety response as well as the anti anxiety action of the drug so the, it gives quite reliable results 
coming to the procedure of the experiment first step is to weigh and number the mice divide them into two groups each comprising of at least six animals so one group is used as a control and the second one is used as a treatment group that, that is treated with the diazepa now what you have to do is place all the animals individually at the center of the maze okay with the head facing towards the opposite arm and start the stopwatch and note the following parameters for around about 5 minutes okay now in case of control you are not administering any drug okay so you can directly place the animals and check for these following parameters for around about 5 minutes so once you place the animal at the center of the maze start the stopwatch and look out for all these what is the first preference of the mouse okay whether it is open arm or whether it is the enclosed arm where it is going whether it is preferring open arm or whether it is preferring the enclosed arm second thing you should note is the number of entries in the open and the enclosed arm okay so a uh, an entry how you can uh, calculate is when the animal places all its four paws in the arm that indicates that the uh, uh, mouse has entered into that particular arm okay it's not that only uh, front two paws have been placed so that cannot be considered as the entry okay so number of entries you should count in uh, open arm as well as the closed arm next thing which you have to calculate is the average time each animal spends in the each arm okay so average time how you can calculate it is given by total duration in that particular arm divided by number of entries in that particular arm so individually you can calculate it for all the animals average time which is spent in open arm as well as average time which is spent in the enclosed arm now next step is to inject diazepam to the test group wait for 30 minutes allow the drug to act for 30 minutes and after 30 minutes place all the animals of the test group individually uh, at the center of the maze and note all the parameters as we have seen in the third step now compare the preference of the animal to open and enclosed arm average time which is spent in open arm and the number of entries in the open arm in the each group so both the groups the so control and the test you are going to note down so this is what your plus maze will look like okay so two opposite arms will be open and these two opposite arms will be enclosed okay so that it will have a wall whereas these two will be open so you need to place your animal over here facing towards the open arm and check for 5 minutes how much time it is spending in each arm open whether open or whether enclosed how many entries it is Uh, making in individual arms and note down the readings so these are the observations okay so in case of control group as you can see the person preference to the open arm okay it's around about 50 45 so you can say that it is around about 45% okay but the number of entries and the average time spent as you can see the number of entries in the open arm it is less right 5 6 7 so average 5.83 and average time spent how we have calculated the total duration spent in the open arm divided by the number of entries so that will give you the average time spent by individual animal in the open arm so here you can see that and on an average these animals are spending 8.17 it is the average time which is spent in the individual open arm okay now coming to the treatment group as you can see the person preference to the open arm has increased right after the treatment of the diazepam okay now why it has happened actually the animal fears to be in the open arm but after the treatment of diazepam it is preferring the open arm even the number of entries in the open arm as compared to the control group also it has increased right from 5.83 it has increased to 8.33 also the average time which is spent in the open arm is also more in the diazepam treated animal as compared to the control animal so it has increased to 13.17 
so this clearly indicates that the animal's preference towards the open arm has increased okay which is not so normally it fears to be in the open arm but after the treatment of diazepam it is preferring the open arm okay so what you can conclude uh, from this that the drug has anti anxiety property so this uh, we can very well observe by plotting a graph of average time spent in the open arm in both the control as well as the treatment group so the graph will look something like that we have plotted the average time spent in the open arm on the y axis in the control as well as the diazepam treated animal so you can see from the graph it is very clear that it is preferring the open arm after the treatment of diazepam preference towards the open arm has increased so this indicates that the diazepam has anti anxiety property so what we can infer over here diazepam it increases the person preference of the animal to the open arm and increases the number of entries and average time spent by the mouse in the open arm thus what we can conclude the diazepam has anti anxiety activity this is the reference thank you